The Mindful Life Practice. Okay, so welcome to your bar class. Um, this bar class is unique because I teach it with a big um, yoga aspect of it. So we're going to start our practice down in a child's pose. Resting the knees on the mat, resting the hips on the heels, letting the arms be heavy and resting the forehead. So bar is a pretty upbeat, um, intense workout. I got really into bar this past summer. My mom knows I was doing bar like every single day. Um, and what I found when I was doing this workout was that it's amazing, but what it was missing for me, a key component was mindfulness. And a key component that was missing was a focus on the breath. So in this practice, we fuse together the mindful movement with the workout. So dropping into your child's pose, just take some deep breaths in and out. Many of us just came from a pretty reflective meditation. We're all in kind of a deep headspace, <laughs> which was amazing. Um, but now we're going to transition into a bit more of a playful and a fun headspace. Okay, so maybe just having an intention like I am gonna have fun, <laughs> or I am strong, or I am committed, whatever, really. Okay, take one more breath in this child's pose. And then on your breath in, you're gonna come all the way up into a table, land your palms underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath the hips, and then let's just start to warm up the spine. Okay, breath in into your cow and then breath out into your cat. And keep moving with your breath, rippling like a wave. Well, maybe Mark thought this class started at 5.30 because he definitely, I sent out a few revisions of the schedule to the teachers throughout the week. <laughs> anyway, just take one more breath. And then let your spine come into neutral. And then we're gonna take some C curves with the spine, okay? So curving it out to the side, gazing over one shoulder, and then coming back through center, gazing over the opposite shoulder. It's like a dog looking for his tail. And then take one more of each. And then come all the way back in through center, tuck your toes, and lift up and back to your first down dog. Bending through one knee, bending through the next. You can rock your head no, just let go, give it a little wiggle yes. And then bend through both knees, take your gaze forward, and then just step your feet up to meet your hands. Okay, take a breath in, halfway lift. Take a breath out, fold. Bend through the knees, sit back, lift your arms up, find yourself into your strong chair. And we're going to sit back here for three, for two, and then for one, press up, inhale your palms up overhead, and then exhale your palms into heart center, thumbs into your heartbeat, take a breath in, and then take a breath out. Inhale, palms up towards the sky, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale to lower. Keep your right foot where it is. Step your left foot back. Take some rocks forward and back on the mat. And then land onto your left knee. Find yourself in a low lunge and inhale your palms up overhead. Settle your gaze. And then come forward, land the palms. Keep your left palm where it is. Take your right palm up towards the sky and twist. Let's land the right palm back down and then just walk your hands back as you lengthen over the right leg and take three breaths, inhale. 
and then exhale, two, and then one. And then come all the way forward, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, bears mark. You must have thought it was at 5.30. And then step your right foot back to meet your left. Okay, finding yourself into a strong plank. So your navel is drawing in. You're pushing the ground away. Hi, Mark, just joined us. I realized you must have thought this class was at 5.30 because it used to be at 5.30. Now it's 5.15. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. Let's land the knees onto the mat and then slowly draw the elbows all the way back, landing our bodies onto the earth. Take an inhale, snake your heart up. Take an exhale, fold and then press through the palms, coming all the way up into your down dog. All right, let's flow into the opposite side. So step your left foot all the way forward, little rocks forward and back, getting into the hip crease, and then land onto your right knee, and then lift your heart up, finding your low lunge, your anjaniyasana, taking just one breath in. And then as you exhale, take it forward, leave your right palm, take your left palm up towards the sky. Take your left palm back down. You're gonna walk your palms back as you lengthen through your left leg and take three breaths, inhale, and then exhale, two more. One more. And then walk your palms forward, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step your right foot forward to meet your left. Take an inhale, half lift. Take an exhale, fold, bend through the knees, sit back, finding your chair, arms lifting up overhead. So we're gonna take that little gentle yoga flow warm up one more time, okay? So taking a breath in, stay in your chair. And then on your exhalation, soften forward. Breathe your halfway lift, fingertips brush your shins. And then exhale your heart forward. Keep your left foot forward as you step your right foot back. Okay, rocking into the hip crease. Land onto your right knee. Inhale your arms up overhead, Anjani Asana. Exhale forward, rest your right palm as you spiral your left palm towards the sky. And this time I'm gonna give you a choice. You can take the left palm back on the sacrum. Maybe you wanna kick the heel back, getting into a little bit of a quad stretch. Only if it's accessible in your body. Okay, take one more breath. And then let's release the right foot, take the left palm forward, walk your fingertips back as you lengthen over the left leg and then take three breaths. Inhale, lift the heart, and then exhale, spill it forward. Two. And then one. Walk your palms forward. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knees, step your left foot back to meet the right, finding your strong plank. And this time, sorry, something just popped up on my computer. This time, if you wanna keep your knees lifted, go ahead to flow through your vinyasa. And if you're more beginner, you're just gonna land your knees onto the mat, drawing your triceps back, breathing your heart up through your back bend, exhaling, and then back to your down dog. Taking a few breaths. And then take a big step forward with your right foot. You can use your hand to get it there. And then do a little rock. Land onto your left knee. Inhale your palms up overhead. And then exhale, take them forward. Land your left palm as you breathe your right palm up towards the sky. So maybe you move into a twist. And then we're gonna release that foot, take the right palm back forward, walk your palms back as you lengthen through your right leg. Okay, staying for three, inhaling, and then exhaling two, and then one. And then just walk your palms forward again. You're gonna tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step the left foot forward to meet the right, take an inhale, half lift. Take an exhale, fold, bend through your knees, sit back into your chair just for three, for two, and then for one, lift all the way up to stand. Take your palms into heart center. Take a big step.
towards the side with your right foot. You're going to widen your legs. Take an inhale with your arms to the side. And then just exhale, come forward into a forward fold. So our last little yoga stretch before we transition into bar, and I'm just gonna turn on my air conditioning. For those of you who know, I'm in like this constant battle with my AC right now, because it's like 35 degrees right now in Abu Dhabi, but I don't wanna have the air conditioning on. And then I start teaching a power or a bar class and I'm like profusely sweating. <laughs> So I think it's time I need to give up the fight. I just need to leave the AC on. <laughs> Keep your right fingertips central on the mat. You're gonna spiral your left up towards the sky. And then exhale the left palm down. Take the right palm up. Taking one more of each. And then land the left palm. Take the right palm up towards the sky. And then come all the way back through center now. Turn your heels in. Knees are going to bend and you're gonna lift yourself up into a goddess squat. Okay, so goddess squat, plie from ballet. Hopefully your weights are nearby. <laughs> if you wanna do this without weights, that's fine. If you wanna up a level, you're gonna take your weights in hand, okay? So you want your knees tracking above your ankles and you're just sitting your hips back and you're lifting your arms out towards the, the sides, holding these weights in hand, okay? So for those of you that have been with me for a few weeks in yoga bar, you know this warm up. it's familiar. We are gonna rotate on one foot and turn our body closing into this lunge, and then rotate again and open back into the goddess, and then close the opposite way, okay? So we start moving with this rhythm, and one of the key elements of yoga bar, or bar, I guess, is that we're moving to the rhythm of music. Okay, now obviously I'm not playing music on Zoom. Um, I've actually found that it's made this practice a bit more meditative for me. Um, if you wanna play music at home, you're more than welcome. I've shared my Spotify before. I have like a bunch of playlists you can choose from, or you can play your own. It's up to you. Um, but if you're happy here, moving with the rhythm of the breath and the heartbeat, go for it. And then we're just going to take four more, three more, two more, and then one more. Come all the way back. I want you to take your weights together and just lean forward and place them on the mat for a moment in front of you, okay? So we're taking some sumo squats right now. You're gonna bend lower, land your palms, and then inhale, lift all the way up. Okay, so coming up, and then lowering down. So you're really getting into the hip crease here. And then let's just take three more, two more, and then one more. Now you have an option. You can carry on with these sumo squats, or you can grab hold of your weights and make it into a bit of a deadlift from your fitness classes. Okay, so you're lifting the weights up and then you're bending the knees and lowering them down. If at any point the weights are too much, just put them down. Please be really mindful. It is never ever worth an injury just to do a movement in this class, okay? You can modify with one weight, modify with no weights. Let's just take three more of these deadlifts, two more, and then one more lower, land your weights, spiral, find yourself coming into a plank. So modifications, you can be on the knees or you have the knees lifted. You're gonna step the right foot forward, lift the right palm up, land the right palm, step back, opposite side. So please know that the rhythm and the pace that I'm taking this at is just an option. And the beauty of this Zoom class is that no one's watching, right? No one can see you. So if you have to slow this down, if you have to be on the knees, it doesn't matter. Move at a pace that suits you. Flow in a way that feels good. Goal here is just to get the body moving. Let's take one more on each side.
And then just shift the hips up and back. Bring yourself into a down dog. One deep breath in, one deep breath out. Bend through the knees, gaze forward. Step your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale the palms all the way up. And then exhale your palms on the right center. Okay, one more move in our goddess squat. So heels back in, weights back in hand, bend through the knees, sit back. We're just gonna finish our warm up with doing that same lunging exercise. So you're rotating the arms together and then coming up and curling the opposite way. And maybe you've got a bit more movement into this side. So you're really curling your body as you move to one side. Let's just do three more, two more, and then on one more, come all the way forward. All right, bend through the knees, land in your squat, check that your knees are aligned, so knees are stacking above the heels, and then take your arms up into these cactus arms. Okay, we're gonna stay in this squat, we're gonna curl in, open, and then press up. So it's a chest workout, it's a shoulder workout. Accomplishing two things at once. As you're doing this, I want you to be able to see your elbows in your periphery. So your elbows aren't going further back than your shoulders. They're just in line. Let's just do four more of these. Three more. Two more. And then on your last one, come all the way back out again. Crisscross your arms in front of you and then draw them back. Crisscross, draw back. So you can get a little bit of like a side bend in here if you want. I like to call this a hip hop move. <laughs> so you can get some like hip hop action going if you want. A little bit of dancing. I say this often in this class. I am not a dancer. My mom confirmed that I actually went to ballet when I was four years old, and then I peed on the floor of the ballet studio, and I never went back. <laughs> so I think bar sometimes has this misconception, like you need to be a dancer to do it. And trust me, I am the perfect example that you do not need to know how to dance. I pretty much cha-cha slide, that's it. <laughs> Take one more of each. And then come all the way back, just land the weights on the hips. You're gonna lift your right heel, land it. Lift your left foot, land it. Right heel, left heel. Okay, so one by one. We don't do a lot of this heel lifting, um, just a little bit in this class. We'll leave that to the ballerinas. <laughs> and then if you want, you might lift both heels at once and land them. Okay, just an option to take it up a level. Let's take four, three, two. On one, lift your heels, play with your balance. Stay here, five, four, three, two. And then one, land your heels, come all the way up. All right, step your feet together, weights in hand, bend through your knees, sit back into a chair. All right, so we're gonna move a little bit with the rhythm here, lifting up and then lowering. Up, and then lowering. Try to have your knees not tracking over your toes as you do this. And there's this tendency to like stick out our butts. I want you to see if you can almost tuck your tailbone slightly every time you land in chair. Okay, just take three more of these, two more. And then on one bend and lower, Lift your arms out in front of you. Remember, you can always put the weights down, okay? Let's start first by curling the right elbow in, lengthening it out. So you're keeping the left arm extended. Stay in the chair. If you want to, up a level, stepping the left foot back. We're just gonna move four more of these. Three more. 
Two more. One more, land and stay in the lunge. Lower your arms, humble your heart forward, lift your arms up behind you, just take mini little tricep pulses. So in this lunge, it's like you're in a crescent lunge, so your left heel is stacking above left ankle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right knee is aligned over the right ankle. And then just take three more, two more, and then one more, tilt your body up so that it's straight. Okay, tuck your tailbone slightly, draw your ribs in, and then bicep curl, shoulder press. Lower and release. Bicep, shoulder, lower, release. You want an extra challenge, lower that back knee. Just give it four, three, you got this, two, one, lift up, zip your weights together, bend the elbows back so that weight is behind your head, whoa, I'm falling, and then do these mini little pulses. If you're losing your balance at any point, that's why we have the chair here, okay? You can always grab hold of that chair. Just do one more little pulse. Lift all the way up. Take the weights into heart center. Keep bending through the knee. Turn your body towards that standing knee and just take it for five, for four, three, two, and then one. Step all the way forward. Oh God, that was a long time. You guys are killing it. I can't see you, but I'm just gonna assume you're killing it. And know that child's pose is always, always, always there for you. All right, opposite side, we got this. Hands at heart center, start first with your chair. So generally in the bar method that I was trained upon, we will work the largest muscles to the smallest. So we start with the big ones, like the glutes, the quads, and then we work our way to the biceps, the shoulders, the triceps. Just take one more and hold, and then lift your arms out in front, and opposite elbow left. And then we progress to the core. And basically the idea is we're working these muscles to fatigue. Um, now, you'll probably notice that I usually merge these things together. So right now we're not just working the lower body, right? We're working the upper body simultaneously. Just take one more draw back, and then maybe you add in the opposite leg. So it's opposite arm going back, opposite leg going back. Four more, you got this. Three more, profusely sweating, two more. One more, come all the way back. Find yourself set up now, so your left toes are pointing forward, wider stance if you're feeling wobbly, humble your heart forward, lengthen the arms out behind you, do those tricep pulses. Take one more, and then lift all the way up, extra challenge, bend through that back knee, Bicep curls to shoulder presses. Now for those of you that have been with me doing yoga bar for a month now at home, you might be feeling like this gets easier and easier every time. Um, that's a sign that you need to up level your weights. So, you know, get a larger can if that's what you're using. <laughs> and you might also have days like, I'm having a day today where I'm going back to my smaller weights because I just don't feel like using my bigger ones. <laughs> so you might also have days like that, yeah? Do one more. Lift up, zip your weights together, bend the elbows, drop the weights back. So tricep, drop. Bend the back knee, keep it lower. Five, four, three, two, and on one, lift up. Take your weights into heart center. Last thing, you got this. Turn towards your standing leg. Take three deep breaths. And then come all the way back. Step your right foot all the way up. All right, let's wiggle it out. 
release. Weights can go to the side for a moment. Um, I'm gonna grab a sip of water. I apologize to those that are fasting. <laughs> almost sunset, almost sunset. By the way, I should have mentioned, I know that some of you guys are fasting. Please take it easy, okay? Um, you don't have to do it all. You can come back for yoga later tonight. <laughs> don't exhaust yourself now. Take your chair, place it on your mat. Now you're gonna use a Pilates ball. If you don't have one, it's okay, you don't need one. You'll see what I'm gonna do with it. You are gonna walk your body forward and, or sorry, backwards, and bring your torso parallel with the earth, okay? And then take your right leg up behind you, and first we're gonna move without the ball. So you're gonna rainbow your right foot, okay? You're bending through the left knee as you do this, taking it up and over. Make sure you move any furniture out of the way. <laughs> I'm cutting it close with my couch behind me. <laughs> so this is kind of getting into the hip mobility. You know what, I'm gonna move my chair. It's not working. There we go. So taking it as wide and as far as you can go. And let's take four, three, two, and then one. Come all the way back. Take your Pilates bar plate ball, place it between your thigh and your calf. And if you don't have it, you just need to bend through the knee. Try to keep your right hip level with your left. Curl the knee in, extend it up, and then curl it in, and then open to the right. Okay, so curling in, extend, and then curl, and then open. So this is like a fire hydrant. You know, dogs do this when they're peeing on fire hydrants. <laughs> I actually had a question. We never got the answer. On my class on Thursday, I said that metaphor, and then I was like, I don't even know if we have fire hydrants in Abu Dhabi. We must, but I have to ask the people that live here. Maybe it has a different name. Take one more, and then lift your right leg up behind you. Keep that bend. You're going to squeeze the ball eight times. Lift the ball eight times. Oh my god, my left butt is killing me. We got this. Squeeze the ball. Lift the ball eight times. Eight is infinity, upside down. Squeeze the ball, you got this. Lift the ball. Now remove the ball. See if you can bring yourself into a warrior three. Oh my God, I cannot do it today. If you can do this, take one more breath. And then come all the way up to stand. Okay, you deserve a stretch. Sit on your chair, take your standing leg, so your left leg, cross it over your ankle, and then just sit down and breathe into that stretch. I wish I could talk to you guys and <laughs> see how you're doing. <sighs> okay, do we want to do the opposite side? <laughs> yeah? I can't hear you, so I'm going to assume it's a yes. <laughs> all right, come all the way back up. Walk to your chair. And this time, your standing leg is your right foot. Bring your torso horizontal. I want you to lightly use the bar, lift the left leg, and then start with those rainbows. So the bar here, or the chair, it's really just to stabilize you. So you don't need to like squeeze that thing to death. <laughs> um, just use it for balance. I have to say, when I became a bar instructor, I became very aware of like all of the many ways that in yoga we could be using props like chairs to our benefit, right? Not everyone has the balance to do a warrior three, but holding onto a chair, it's much easier, isn't it? Let's just go across four more times, three more times, two more, and then one more, come all the way back, take the ball, place it between your right thigh and your right calf. And so if you don't have a ball, it's no big deal. Curl in, fire hydrant, curl in and extend. Really what we're trying to do is just create an engagement in the back leg. Okay, so 
You can always just have that knee bent. And sometimes the balls are more trouble than anything. Like when I teach this class in the gym, the balls are just like flying everywhere. <laughs> so maybe if you don't have one, it's better because you can focus on this. <laughs> Good more. Take two more. And then one more. And then lift that leg behind you. Eight squeezes. Eight lifts. Eight squeezes. Eight lifts. Eight more. Are you feeling that muscle fatigue? Eight lifts. Okay, come all the way. Oh wait, I missed something. Don't come all the way up. Take your warrior three. See if you can balance. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Okay, come all the way up. Cross the ankle, sit back. Okay, so don't kill me. We have one more warrior three with the chair like move, all right? And then we're gonna stop this madness. Um, we're gonna do an upwards row in a warrior three. Okay, so ball can go to the side now. I really only integrate it for that one move. You're gonna need to Google some more creative ways to use it. Take your weight. I'm gonna use my bigger one for this one. What you could do is double up your weights like this, if you want a bit more, because this muscle tends to be a bit um, stronger than the others. Bring yourself all the way forward again into this forward folding thing. <laughs> um, halfway lift would be a better descriptor. Now you can have both feet planted if you're like, I am not doing another warrior three. If you are like, I wanna do another one, Nadia, Yes, yeah, sir. You're gonna extend that leg, okay? And then, so you're extending the opposite leg right now that your weight is in. So my weight is in my right hand, my leg is left that is lifting, okay? And all you're gonna do is upward rows. So you're bending at the elbow, drawing the weight up, finding your balance, and know that it's okay if you change your mind and you wanna put the weight down. And it's okay if you want to put the foot down. Just give it four, three, two, and then one. Take it up. Do eight little pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Eight more. Eight more. And then tilt all the way up. Take your left knee with you. Place your weight in both hands. Extend it up. Now I'm gonna give you a challenge. You can lift onto your right tippy toes. Ballerina, yay. <laughs> and then you can land the heel back down. I want you to take that weight into heart center. Turn towards the standing leg. Another little ballerina move. If you wanna lift onto your toes, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Okay. One more. Switch your weight, walk your body forward. And by the way, this bar workout has been getting progressively harder each week. Curl up and then lower, maybe lift the opposite leg. So if it's your first time doing some of these movements, it might be really challenging. Um, bear in mind that like half, or some of the people in here have been doing this with me every week for, or twice a week on Zoom. And some of you, like Nadia and Sarah, have been doing this every week since September. <laughs> so I'm just trying to progressively make it harder so that their practice doesn't plateau, but meet this practice wherever you are and modify it wherever you are. Just four more lifts, three more, two more, and then one more are three sets of eight little pulses. Second set, third set. And then lift all the way up, taking that weight in hand. Balance, balance, balance. Maybe you're on your tippy toes. I'm not going to. And then lower, take it into heart center. Rotate towards your standing leg. Take three, take two, 
and then just take one, step down. Let's take a big inhale, lift up, and then just take an exhale, forward fold, and hang out there for a couple of breaths. Let me see how our timing is at. Where's my phone? So typically, when I teach in the studio, I time the whole session to my um, uh, music playlist. I bet Mark probably does as well. Um, anyway, so I have to check the time, but great. We're less than halfway through, more time to kill you. <laughs> Take one more breath in this forward fold. And then once again, you're gonna take the weights in hand and we're gonna do a little bit of a sequence in yoga poses, okay? So I'm actually gonna move my chair out of the way now. I don't think we're gonna use it again. So you might wanna slide it to the side. Of course, if you need it for your balance, go ahead. Take the weights in hand. And then you're gonna step your feet wide and we're coming into a warrior two from yoga. Turn your right toes to the short edge of the mat, left foot horizontal with the other short edge, I guess both short edges, parallel. Bend through the right knee. <laughs> Lift your arms up. Find yourself into a warrior two. So this is working your shoulders. On our breath in, we're gonna reverse our warrior. And then on our breath out, warrior two. Okay, if you have massive weights, like much bigger than two pounds, maybe put them down. This might be a lot for your shoulder. But with light weights, like one or two pounds, it's okay. Take one more. Come back to your warrior two. Let's hold it in stillness. Gaze over the right shoulder. Three, two. And then on one, lengthen through your right leg, shorten your stance a tiny bit, hinge forward, land your right arm parallel or along the edge of your right leg. I'm like losing my words today. You can shift forward, come into a half moon. This is my third class that I've taught of the day, so maybe I need to uh, reduce that on Sundays. <laughs> Take three deep breaths. Two. And then one, bend through the right knee, come all the way back. Turn your right toes, turn your left toes, bend through the left knee, and then find yourself in warrior two on this opposite side. Breath into reverse, breath out warrior two. I realize actually I've mentioned Sarah and Nadia as my regulars at bar all year, but Emma, Shanahan is also in this class, and she was one of my first bar students ever, too. Super nice to have that support. That was back in the days when I was still trying to make it a dance class, and so I was teaching them the cha-cha slide, and they stayed with me through it all <laughs> to this point on Zoom. <laughs> Take one more breath, and then come all the way back up. Lengthen through your left leg, shorten your stance a little bit. Hinge forward. Find yourself in this triangle. I think it's a great example of like, I was doing the cha-cha slide because I was trying to be something that I was not. Let's tilt forward into a half moon. By the way, if you're having trouble balancing, your weight can turn into a little yoga block like this. Um, when I started teaching bar, I thought that I had to teach dance in it. Let's tilt all the way back up. And then just take our heels in, toes out. Bend through the knees, sit back, just weights in hand, finding your goddess again. So anyway, I felt like because all the bar classes I had taken were super dancey, that mine had to be super dancey. And um, I think it took me until like November, I started teaching in August, um, to realize that like, if you're trying to be something that you're not, it's like not gonna work. And that's when I kind of just turned it into a yoga bar class. <laughs> we didn't even change the name on the schedule. I just started starting class in child's pose. <laughs> Let's open into cactus arms and we're gonna return to this move we started at the start of the class. Okay, so elbows in, come out and push overhead. And once I turned it into a yoga bar class, 
I all of a sudden had like regular clients coming. <laughs> and I realized that if we try really hard to emulate this thing, just because we think it's the right way of doing it, you're never gonna be successful. Right, you have to do it your way. Let's just do four more, three more, two more, and then one more. Take it in, weights on your hips, lengthen, walk your feet in a little bit, and then we're just gonna hinge forward, place the weights down, grip opposite elbows, and just release. Oh my goodness, you know what I just realized? This class ends at 6.15 now. It doesn't end at 6.30. Oh my God, that's why I had so much time to kill you. Okay, the class ends in, in 15 minutes. We have to get our core in. <laughs> Come forward, land the palms. We're gonna end with a little bit less yoga stretching. Oh my God, I'm so sorry guys. You're getting an uber long bar class today. <laughs> Push the palms away. I was wondering, I was like, why do I have so much time? <laughs> Let's take three deep breaths. And then you're gonna land onto your left elbow, come into this forearm plank, lift the arm up. I think what we're gonna end up with is a shorter Shavasana. Sorry guys. <laughs> Little bit of core, short stretch Shavasana. Just take three more. Oh my God, that's so funny that I did that. Two more. <laughs> And then one more. And then come all the way across, opposite way. Left arm lifts up. Take one more. Come all the way back, land onto the elbows. It's so funny because I'm always this person that's like, never go over time in yoga. Respect people's time. <laughs> but in this case, it was an accident, I swear. Take three, take two, and then on one, lower your heart forward, and then drop your body into a sphinx. Okay, let's flip over like a pancake. If you have a yoga block, great. If you don't, that's okay. Pilates ball can also work. Take your block up overhead, bring your legs to float pass the block to the feet. We're just gonna do 20 of these, okay? Just 20. <laughs> rest your shoulders, rest the back of your head. And I'm sorry that I'm not giving you all the core you want. Nadia. <laughs> Let's just do five. Four, three, two, and then one, hover, hover the block, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one, just land the block. Cross your right thigh on top of your left, eagle legs. Cross your right arm underneath your left elbow. We're gonna steal a move from Sarah's power vinyasa, the lovely Sarah. Cross your elbows to your knees. Stay here five, four, three, two. And then on one, I want you to open your arms, cactus, and then drop both knees over to the right. Sorry, it's your right leg across. Knees go to the right, gaze goes to the left. How are we doing for time? Okay, we're okay, 6.05. Take one more breath. And then come all the way back through center, uncross. And then last thing, left leg crosses. This time it is your left arm underneath your right. Draw the elbows up, lift your upper body, elbows connecting to knees, holding here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1, and then open 
drop the knees to the left. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how this class really finishes. <laughs> On days when I haven't made you do a million hours of bar. <laughs> um, typically we'll do a few back bends and then we will get a nice stretch of the hamstring through um, with the yoga strap. We're just tapping into the parasympathetic nervous system, slowing down the breath. And then come all the way back up to center. And then I'm gonna give you a moment to just identify if there's any last poses that would seal your practice tonight. Something that supports you dropping into stillness. So maybe it's a butterfly or a Baddha Konasana or happy baby, whatever. Do whatever you need. And then we're gonna end this practice either in Shavasana or in seated meditation or whatever pose is kind of calling to you. I'm gonna sit a little closer. We'll drop into our meditation for about five minutes. It's so funny, you know, I've worked in yoga studios for like, six years, longer actually. I worked at a studio at the front desk and then I actually cleaned the studio before that. And um, I would always be like, you know, the yoga studio, studio owners would make a mistake and I'd be like, why can't they keep their schedule straight? <laughs> and then here I am, I'm the one who made the schedule and I don't even remember what it is. <laughs> So this afternoon, we, a group of us got together and we did a loving kindness meditation. And the intention of that meditation was to practice loving kindness, not only to ourselves, but to people in our lives and people all around the world. And so it's a little reminder to you know, be compassionate towards myself for making mistakes and compassionate towards others too. As we drop into stillness, feeling the breath like a tidal wave, Maybe tidal wave's not the right word, like a gentle wave against the beach. Revisit your intention. What is it that brought you to this practice today? And be with that breath and be with that intention for just a couple more minutes until our time is up.
yourself stand alone or oh, you're sinking like a stone carry on may your past be the sound of your feet upon the ground and carry on when you're lost and alone or you're sinking like a stone carry on may your past be the sound of your feet upon the ground and carry on carry on carry on just give your fingers and your toes a little wiggle Run a nice sweeping stretch through your body. If you're sitting in meditation, just stay there. And if you're on your back, perhaps you come to meet us here. Take your palms into your heart center. Effortless lift through your spine like the stem of a flower. Softness through your shoulders. In this moment, acknowledge the fact that you showed up. It's not an easy thing when we've lost so much structure and routine. kind of establish it again, so, so thank yourself for that. And I like to seal with a, an ohm sound. And if you wanna join in, we will inhale and exhale and then inhale through to make an ohm. Okay, so take a breath in. And then a breath out. And then a breath in. We close with the intention, the ancient intention, perhaps the original intention. That our yoga practice remain a constant and our efforts remain continuous and that our yoga serves and benefits not only ourselves but all of the people in our lives and all of the people in their lives and all of the people on planet earth may all beings be safe may all beings be well happy and healthy. May the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. Om Shanti 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 Peace. Namaste. The Mindful Life Practice.